So folks, today I'm sitting on a gold mine of new products. Some things I haven't tried, some things that have come in the mail, some residual Sephora orders from the sale, some PR, some new goodness. And uh, I just wanted to sit and play with some makeup on my face. I'm feeling dull. So, new makeup, let us dive right in. So first of Lee, <laughs> it's first of all, but first of Lee, I just made that up. Uh, my skin's really dry, so I'm just gonna prep with the Wellita skin food. Nothing is quite taming the dryness like the skin food at the moment. I'm pretty sure it's giving me some rashes at this point, considering how much I've been piling it onto my face, but you know what? <laughs> it stops the tight tingles, and that's all I need right now. <laughs> Mmm, juice, juicy, juicy, juicy. So during all of my stalking of the Sephora website during the sale, I saw this Giorgio Armani Neo Nude True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation. And I didn't know why I didn't see anything on this. I didn't see anyone talk about it in just my general perusing anyway. I definitely didn't go searching for it, but it just sounds like a foundation that's right up my alley. I love Giorgio Armani base products. I was really excited about this. The packaging is really cute. It's got this little stony looking thing that shows the shade of which is in the foundation, which I think is really cute. Love the tube. And this could potentially, like, I don't want to speak too soon, but by its title, this sounds like a foundation that's made for me. So this one's the shade 4.5. Seems to be the same kind of shade numbering as the Illuminous Silk Foundation. So I'm going to rub that in with my fingers. It feels really nice and creamy, but liquidy, a liquidy cream. Oh. <laughs> oh, that feels so nice going on. Oh, wow. I don't want to speak too soon, but that's less stunning. I kind of want to try the, the professional makeup artist tip. And I just want to take a little bit more on the back of my hand with a, a classic foundation brush, the paintbrush. And I just want to go and do the rest of my face with that and see how it goes. Oh my gosh, it's like, it looks and feels like I'm applying a tinted serum. That's how this feels. It's like moisturizing and light like a serum, but then it just has a little foundation tint to it. You guys, it's stunning. The ingredients were kind of like alcohol denat filled, but I would like to get more opinions on alcohol denat, denatured alcohol. Back when I did my whole deep dive into primers and things, I was like, no more alcohol denat. But then why do so many of my favorite feeling products have alcohol in that? Like, obviously it can't be that bad. I'm just curious to know for any of you ingredient buffs out there, chemical engineers, chemistry majors. If a product like this looks so stunning, will alcohol in that kill me? Am I fine to you? you guys, this is beautiful. I'm in le shookethness. The state is le shooketh. Not to be dramatic, but all of the other foundations can burn. <laughs> This is, wow, I'm so excited to play with this more. I will report back later, guys, at a later date. Stay tuned till the end of the month. I'll give you my update. Perhaps this will be a Le Favorite. I figured it would be the perfect opportunity to use my Giorgio Romani concealer. I mentioned before I bought one that was a little bit too dark for me, so I did buy 4.5 in this as well, just to have the same shades across the board. Don't fit applicator on this is really cool. I've got a lot of zits chilling out right now. She's having a breakout. Like, who is this? And how dare they enter my face unwanted. You did not have my permission. But yeah, that foundation is very much like a tinted moisturizer. Like I said, a tinted serum feeling thing. So I definitely want a little bit more coverage on my zittier spot. I am positively delighted by this base. Uh, so happy with how this looks. I'm very dewy. This is a very, I'm gonna continue using the word serum, serum-y foundation. So we're most likely gonna have to go in with powder, but that's okay because I like the wetness. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with my cream products before I set in with powder. Also wanted to know that I wash my brushes. Look how clean they are. Oh, it's been way too long since I washed my brushes. I'm usually better about it. The past couple weeks has been pretty brutal on the brush front, but y'all, She's bathed and she's clean. I'm gonna use the Fenty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. And the last time, when did I use this last? 
I don't know. I can't keep track these days. But someone commented on the fact that I, I brushed my product onto the mirror and I know that's probably so gross, but this still has like the plastic film on it. Sometimes it doesn't matter if it has the film on it or not, but I just like to do that to take the excess off. Sometimes I don't always like rubbing it on my hands. So that's just a little tip with powder. I always just like splash my powder or my blush across the mirror and it just takes off any of the excess product before putting it on my face. And um, I was about to look in the mirror that I just smudged. <laughs> yeah, nice little tip if you just want to make sure that you're not putting too much product onto your face. You can... I'm just gonna use that to warm up the face, chisel it up. Now I'm gonna powder. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is one that I just go broop. Whoa. <laughs> a lot came off that time. I'm just gonna use this powder with a little eyeshadow brush. This is the Smith 232. And just using the, the lightest amount to go around the areas of my face that I don't want to be shiny, which is just generally in the centermost portion of my face. And then under my eyes, because I have very wrinkly under eyes and I'm also in a state of blinking a ridiculous amount. And so my mascara is transferring so much right now because I'm doing such like deep, hard, long blinks. <laughs> okay, so I kind of wanted to deepen up the bronzer a bit. I've been going so light with my bronzer lately, guys. Are you proud of me? Just to kind of set this in, deepen the bronze and honestly just an excuse to play with this new Ilia bronzer. This is the Night Light Bronzing Powder. Really lovely, big new packaging they've got here. They came out with this as well as a highlight. Oop, the highlight right there. And I really wanted to give this a go. So I'm gonna grab my e.l.f. large stipple brush. You guys, this brush is so old. It's so mangled. I need them to bring this back. It doesn't exist. I don't care. The dome stipple brush that everyone's sending me, I know it's not the same. It is not the large stipple brush. I don't know why they're playing us like this. They just need to make this a thing on their website. Anyway, let's give this its bronzer. Ooh, you try. That one's like whew, a lot of powder coming off. Not that that matters, but just don't press into your pan as hard. Just gonna use that to deepen up the bronzer. I'm feeling like I need a little bit more warmth today. Oh my gosh, I also forgot to go down my nose. Oh, how could I? It's also so weird doing my brows beforehand. I've honestly been trying to do it because especially if I show a new brow technique, like I don't wanna be too repetitive constantly in my videos. And that's definitely what takes me the longest. So I try and just, you know, remove a step from the video, but I'm so messy when it comes to applying my bronzer and things. I'm always ruining all of the brows that I've just set in. <laughs> all right, the next in newness, this is the By Terry Brightening CC Palette. I love the Sunny Flash serums. Here they are in powder form. So I wanted to play with this to brighten up and highlight my face. I guess they're highlighting powders, but I would consider these more on the blush spectrum. So I'm just gonna mix these two lovely pinks together. Love this mirror too. It also smells exactly like the serums. Mm. Smells like my, my Lydia obsession. <laughs> okay, so honestly, they're a lot more pigmented than I thought they'd be. <laughs> I definitely went a little heavy. I'm just gonna go ahead and try and blend that out a little bit. Okay, this one here, I definitely didn't think it would be very pigmented just by looking out of the pan. It kind of looks matte. It's like these look like matte blushes in the pan. But then I just rubbed it on my skin and it actually has such a, maybe it's not gonna show up in the camera, but it's got quite a nice sheen to it. So I'm just gonna try and run that up on a eyeshadow brush. No, it's pretty subtle. I'd still want something a little bit more intense for a highlight. But the idea was there. Speaking of highlight, let's dip into this Ilia Decades highlighter. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. That is lovely. A lovely, creamy, pure champagne highlight. I'm gonna go back in to that powder bronzer from Ilia and just run that through the crease. Ooh, and let's do a little bit of the the nose contour that I forgot. Just gonna run that powder bronzer down. How does this compare to Hula? Because that looks very similar. 
you guys, I was just thinking to myself like, wow, this, this looks very similar to when I apply Hoola. I mean, truly looking at them right here, they look so, so similar. The Benefit one's just more pigmented. Like even when I'm picking this one up in my crease, I find that the Benefit one just shows up like more intensely, but in the pan and down my nose, they look so similar. I wonder if Ilya used them as a reference point. <laughs> okay, so the final new product that I wanted to use on my base, just before we get into the eyes, cause it's really the skin that I'm concerned about. This is the new Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. The feeling of this bottle feels so nice. And honestly, I haven't used like a specific setting spray in quite some time. You know, like the good old classic Urban Decay chill makeup setting spray. Ah, a throwback. I feel like a lot of the face mists I use are like hydrating, skin benefiting, hydrating face mists. And this one's a setting spray. You're supposed to apply this on top of makeup as per the instructions on the back. So let's try that. How does it spray? Oh, it's so fine. Mm -hmm. So misty. Okay, so I'm just gonna set in. Oh my gosh. It feels just like soft, delicate little sprinkle touches. It's such a fine mist. <gasps> Did that do anything? I had my eyes closed. I feel like a layer has just gone on my face. I feel like I've just become one with glycerin. I am glycerin! Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna be starting with the starting. This is the only product I have. I'm gonna use the Victoria Beckham Coco. I realized that I didn't actually use this like in a tutorial setting. I just talked about it in my brand review video. If you missed that, I'll link it below for your viewing pleasure. And this is the perfect opportunity to announce the giveaway from the Victoria Beckham Beauty video. Apologies about yesterday. We did actually end up switching our our video schedule around, so I didn't announce it yesterday, but the winner of the Victoria Beckham Beauty giveaway was Joanna Hahn. Johanna na 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 na. <laughs> so congratulations to you, and thank you so much for everyone who entered. Many more giveaways to come. And I'm just gonna smudge a this on my eye. I kinda wanted to try something. Now I'm feeling a little bit scared because my makeup's looking just very like fresh and light. I didn't really wanna ruin it, but I still kinda wanna try it. You know when you're on Instagram and you're just scrolling through the explore feed and like videos, if you click on a video, it'll automatically just start playing other videos after it. Anyway, that's what happened. I have no idea whose account this was or where I saw it, but I just saw someone using eyeliner. Oh man, this is gonna be scary. And they were just putting it like right in the inner corner like that. Like they were creating a halo eye, but I just hadn't really like thought about doing it this way with liner. They just smudged it like this and then smudged it out. So I thought we'd give it a try if it fails. That's okay. I'm just gonna blend that out and create kind of a soft smudged out eye. Like look at how nicely it blends out. It kind of just gives the effect that you're using multiple different shadows because as you blend out the liner, it gets softer and softer. So I thought this was a fun little trick to try and it's going well. Thank you for asking. I need to get a blendy brush in here. I'm screwing up the crease. I'm just gonna like connect the two. I'm not adding any more product. I'm literally just blending it out and connecting them through the crease. I don't want this to be too dark, but I also feel like I'm unintentionally making it a little bit patchy. But what a fun little trick to do a little halo eye with a liner. It's like doing a whole eye look with one product. That's so great. Have any of you ever tried this? Have I ever tried this? I don't trust my memory anymore. There have been many occasions in the last little while that have proven that I can't be trusted with my memory. All I can concentrate on is the now. I'm kind of I'm kind of down to leave it like this. Just a little bit more like grungy and messy. I kind of like it. Okay, well while we're just on the same eye, the same little video snippet I watched, they just took the eyeliner. Oh, am I gonna regret this? Is this gonna be very dark? <laughs> and they just smudged it out down here too. Just all smoky-like. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> That was great, I loved that. I love this liner, that was so fun. So now instead of using a new product, I'm just gonna go back in with the highlight we used on our face 
and just pat that into the center of our halo lid. Oh, that's nice. Wow, I haven't done a halo one in so long. And then I'm just gonna take a little brush and use that to highlight the inner corners. You guys, this is a great highlighter. What a beautiful shade. Like a very, very creamy formula too. Oh, I think I already put it on the brow one. Oh well. Another layer won't hurt nobody. Another exciting new product, a new mascara from Marc Jacobs, you guys. This is the At Lashed. Lashed. My lashes will look so long. My small lash days are over. Look at this packaging. That is, that is hands down the nicest mascara packaging I've ever seen. Let's read about her, shall we? At last. Finally, length, definition, and curl come together in one ultra luxe long wear mascara. Okay, let's see how she looks. Oh, I love that wand. <gasps> I love these little, like they're the fluffy fibers. They're not the pokey stabby ones that stab my eyeballs. And then it's thin too, so you can really get in there and smudge it in. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so this is one layer of the mascara. It's it's really nice. It's really lengthening. Like this lifted my lashes to their full capacity for sure. And it's that like light fluttery. I always think of a fairy. I don't know why. Whenever I use mascara like this, it reminds me of like a fluttery fairy. I'm gonna go in and try and build it up a little bit more. What a gorgeous mascara. I'm gonna leave the eyes there. Let's move on to the lips. I've already used this lip liner, lip definer, unforgettable lip definer, the Kevin Aquan one. This is the shade Divine. So I'm just gonna quickly run that over. Oh, I have to sneeze. Oh no, don't blink, my mascara is still wet. <laughs> okay, we got no smudging, great. That's just always my worst nightmare, like sneezing right after I've applied mascara. Oh my word, okay, the lip definer. Gonna smudge Ruskies that around. Went for something a little bit more pointy on my cupids, go a little bit more dramatic. Now these lipsticks, I feel like I haven't given them the attention they deserve. The Kevin Aquan Unforgettable Lipsticks. I have a few shades of these and they're really gorgeous. I've actually worn them a couple of times, just, you know, bopping around in my daily life. This is immaculate. A really beautiful, very comfortable formula for everyday wear. This is just a great beige nude. They smell like vanilla cupcakes. Super comfortable. I love the packaging. And that's the finished look, guys. I feel like I need to go change my shirt. I need to like emphasize this, this drama we've created. Hold, please. Yes, this is a little bit more dark and sinister to to match the look. Maybe not, now I'm just feeling weird. Well anyway guys, that's the finished makeup look. <laughs> I actually really love how this turned out. I'm super excited to keep using a few of these new products. What are your thoughts on some of the, the newness that's now on my face? I'm pretty excited about a lot of these, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted. And definitely let me know your thoughts on them in the comments down below. Before we before we leave today, I wanted to say that there's another one of my my favorites giveaway boxes. In case you missed that, here's a box of some of my favorite things. The only thing that's switching in here is the palette. Today's palette is the Narcissist Wanted palette. Such a classic, such a great palette. So if you wanted to enter today's giveaway, be sure to check the description box down below on how to enter. You guys, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye!